What I love about these pine pellets is you can just glue a couple of pieces together, clean it up, and you got yourself a nice chunky piece of timber. Now, I'm not worried um, about the stains and the condition of this pellet. This frame is all going to be painted white, so it really doesn't matter what the timber is. This will be the usual routine. Quickly throw it through the thicknesser, glue two pieces together, get as much stock as I can out of this one pallet, and I'll clamp it all together. I'm going to use these F clamps just to show you that these are a pretty good starting place in the clamping department. Um, these are 300 mil clamp, and you'll see that you can do a lot of cool stuff with them. So. Uh, with that done, continue to clean it up and then it's on to denailing this massive pile of pallets that's going to form the top of the bench top. Now these are all my good pallets, all my nice hardwoods and beautiful bits of timber based on the colour more than the type of wood if anything. Anyway, as you can see, there is a fair bit to flatten. All of this has just gone through the thickness of both sides so we get a nice glue up. Uh, I'm now going to head to the miter saw and chop them all to size. Whatever's left over, I'm going to use for the two foot rails down the bottom. Alrighty, just remember, measure twice and then do strange things with your fingers. Two point four meters of this stuff for the bench top, all the offcuts for the footstool. Put your glasses on. Ten percent off. So this is all the timber that I've got for the top. Now I'm going to clamp it up in a few different ways to again just show off the clamps. Um, this routine is just with these deep breech pipe clamps. Now the timber is thin, so I've just used these steel end caps, if you will, to help hold it all together. Uh, the second method will be the now my gold standard, which is these sash clamps. Now these are pretty heavy duty and they are, well, you can't really beat them for this sort of work. That is a pretty awesome glue up. Um, that's all I have to say about that. And I'll also just glue a little slab together with these F clamps. Again, gets the job done and you end up with a nice piece of timber. This is how it all started for me. Pretty much day one, I started clamping wood together with these little F clamps that I had. So, there you go. Getting back to that timber I cleaned up for the frame, so very simple routine of half flaps using the table saw and the band saw, and this is where my phone ran out of, right there. Okay, moving on to flattening the slabs now. Good old routine. Uh, again, without this spiral cutter head, this probably would have taken a lot longer. Now I've cleaned up all these slabs individually to size just to maximize the length. Uh, of this bench top. In hindsight, I probably should have made them all exactly the same, which would have made this next glue up a little bit simpler. Um, it was no big deal. I just had to shim out or throw a bit of extra timber in just for one of these slabs here. As you can see, I'm stacking them all up. It was a little bit shorter, but it was all good in the end. Pony Jorgensen deep reach pipe clamps. Um, there's three layers of slabs here bit of grease proof paper in between they're all nice and flat three clamps jobs done all right so chunky pine pallets calls for some chunky joinery nice and easy half laps and then basically just clamp it all together check square check square in the corner that one's not square pallet wood so put a clamp on check square still not square so Readjust your clamp, then check square again. Uh, and you should get there in the end. There we go, it's square, happy with that. Okay, more chunky joinery. Again, this is for the frame downstairs. Now these two inside legs are basically are a one-legged piece. So when this bench goes together, you don't have a leg at the front of the bench itself. So um, just using my big ass corner clamp here to hold it all together. Uh, and later on, I'm going to come in and put screws in and reinforce this once all the cross rails and all that extra support gets put into place. Just using chunky pallets with chunky joints, just because pallets are cool. Time to cut the waterfalls. I stole this little sled idea from David Kelly, and I'm just doing a quarter of this bench at a time, so about 600 mil each, then it'll all get joined together at the end.
Last time I used a slot cutter. Um, however, the slot cutter had to hang out this collet a little bit too far, so not entirely a smart way to do it. It worked okay, um, but there is a risk of putting too much pressure on that. So I've just got a straight bit on this time, and I've rigged up the fence on this little trim router. So I can basically cut the two slots that I need to be able to run a spline through the entire length of this little waterfall edge. So um, I think this is gonna be the way to go from here on in. All right, so this one was the most difficult because my spline was slightly thicker, uh, but the clamps have brought it into position. Uh, as long as the waterfall looks good, I'm happy. I've got all those pieces now laid out. I'm gonna make it in two parts so that I can assemble it within the shop. Got out the trim router again, not measuring, just throwing some slots in. I'll put some biscuits in. I'll join the two slabs together um, and then use the deep reach pipe clamps again, just to hold it all together. A couple of F clamps to stop it lifting up and voila, we've got half of the bench glued up. So uh, I've got this nice feature up the top. I just want to tie it in down the bottom with some little footrests, which will be on a little bit of an angle. So I'm pretty much going to do a bit of a puzzle piece um, just to give myself a bit of a crazy pattern lamination, which I think will match the top and look pretty cool. And it'll use up all this stuff without too much effort as well. So I'm going to use the F clamps to do this clamp up just to show some more versatility and just to show that you can still laminate heaps of cool stuff together if these are just your starting clamps. So a couple of fence palings, then my little baking paper surprise. Now that needs to be just the right height so these clamps can pull in from here. I'll then get some more on top to bring it all together. Oh. Right, no room to slide. Oh, I just corked my ass. Being a dickhead. So, eight clamps. I've made myself a nice decorative piece of timber out of all pallets. It's 1200 long, 120 wide. Um, quick sand with the belt sander, and you got yourself a nice, beautiful piece of timber. So that's cool. I've got a check square. It's a little bit of a nightmare. I've got another pine pallet I've pulled apart. I've cleaned it up, squared it up, put these little chamfers on, and now I'm going to wrap around those chunky frames to give it that extra chunky support post on both sides. That's me doing the chamfers. That was, um, we can do that better next time, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I've just got to get this footrest in now. So I want it recessed into the centre leg and into the side here. So I'll just, I'll use the offcut so I can get in there, have a look what looks good. And then I'll basically just have to 
probably cut that out by hand or with a router or something. Haven't actually figured it out yet, but I'll just uh, I'll just take the angle, measure, cut. Hopefully it works good. Well, busted out the 50 mil chisel here. Now, hopefully I'm gonna see you in the rubbish wood challenge. Uh, there is one of these up for grabs as one of the prizes for um, one of the lucky winners of that little competition. Alrighty, so just a bit of paint, bit of finish to go and assemble it. Um, I just wanted to quickly say thanks to Timbercon for letting me be a part of the Pony Jorgensen Clamp launch in Australia. So this is my last video for that series. If you haven't checked out their channel, there's some other good stuff. Heaps of other Aussie makers showing off the clamps. And um, basically, it's it's been pretty cool. And I just want to say thanks very much. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And just stick around as I put all this together and show you the beauty shots. Cheers. Okay, I've got a little bit of walnut stain and varnish thinned down with terps. It... As much as it kills me to put stain on this pallet wood, because I love the look of that, it has to tie in with the rest of the shop, and it just gives it that nice sort of, I don't know what it gives it, but it looks cool, and that's what I have to do. Okay. Okay, that's it, uh, 2.4 meter salon bench, uh, all pallet wood up the top. There's a single pallet for the frame and then another pallet to wrap all these two end pieces um, and also pallet wood down the bottom for the footrest.